watching an LBL review. Cheers. Uh -huh. Thanks, Star. We're going to What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another have and have a nice review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everybody be sure to like, comment, and share. Listen, listen. Ain't no way in hell y'all gonna convince me that this show is going off. We got too many storylines. We have way too many storylines for y'all to convince me that this show is coming to an end. I don't care what the interview was saying it going to BT BT plus Tyler Perry in his own network or something. It ain't coming to an end. <clears throat> but anywho, the show pretty much picks up where it left off last week, where the officer is at the house with Catherine, Jim, and David. The officer reading the paperwork to Jim and David, letting them know that Hannah Young is indeed Catherine's power. She has Catherine's power of attorney. Jim pissed off, rightfully so, because he broke and. Ain't nothing worse than a white man that's a crybaby and broke. And David, old punk ass, talking about some uh, officer. Uh, are you not going to arrest her? I told you she put her, she hit me in the lace. Mrs. Officer was like, nigga, she said you put your hands on her, which you did. Then Hannah said, you know what? I'm leaving and I'm taking this paperwork with me. So Jim, Jim like, man, F this. I'm finna go talk to Catherine and make her give me her power of attorney. Here come old, here come on David behind talking about some, uh, well, Jim, um, you don't need to be driving like this. You're upset. You're angry. You, you, your shoulder is hurt. And I'm saying to myself, um, Steven, you need to find something better to do. Like, Jane, he just be pissing me off. Jim told David, nigga, if you don't take your ass down to the Malones and find out whether they're protecting Candace or not, she just, he just be pissing me off. And so, Jim go, excuse me, Jim go visit Kathy. And Jim in there talking about some, Kathy, you know she's going to steal all your money. She's going to screw you over. And I'm just saying to myself, I know good and damn well your broke ass ain't talking about screwing somebody over. Then here he go talking about some, you know, did you forget that she, that her daughter is the one who stole our son's $8 million inheritance? What Catherine should have said was, no, you the reason that our son's $8 million inheritance is gone because you took it from him, rightfully so, but you didn't have to put it in your account and start spending it yourself. So, Oh well, and like, and, and, and truth be told, <coughs> and truth be told, Catherine, she don't give a damn about eight million dollars. She worth two hundred and seventy six million. Fuck them like eight mil. So. Catherine, like, you just pissed off because you're going to have to ask Hannah Young for some money. Here come Jim. I'm not asking Hannah Young for a goddamn thing. Boy, that good old white boy know he was hurt. Meanwhile, David then went to the Malones just as he was instructed by Massa. He talking to Vinny. Uh, yes, uh, I, I met your nephew, Mitch, when he was with the Benjamin boy. Vinny said, look here, dog. Whatever it is you got to say, just say it. I don't do the beat around the bush. And he gonna come out and say, is it true that you're protecting Candace Young? And you really pretty much say, hey, I owe her a favor too. And, 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 and look, man, the bottom line is this. I pray to God that Vinny don't get in bed with David because it's time for him to die. I'm tired of Steven doing everything masters say do. I'm just sick and tired of it. I listen, Vinny, please don't get in bed with him. Please don't. So, anywho, moving on. After Jim leaves from talking with Catherine, John and Don is at the house waiting on him. He don't understand. They just as pissed off about him to have a power of attorney as he is. And they basically telling him, like, look, you can't get no money. You can't get no $500,000 loan. You can't get nothing because 
Hannah Young has to sign off on everything. And so he said, man, look here, F that. I'm going to make that maid give me my wife's power of attorney. And he kicks them out. Now, I can't wait until next week episode or the, the upcoming episodes to actually see how, you know, they're going to go about this. But but listen, um, yeah, are you not getting it? You're not getting it. You're not getting it at all. So, anywho, moving on. Um, this episode, you know, Landon, he went to go visit um, Candace. So, Oliver is back, you know, at Charles' house. He picks up the phone and called Gretchen. The little chick Charles was messing with from time to time. Come to find out, we got a power play, you know, in the making. Oliver needs Gretchen to get with Charles so their family can make some power moves. And I'm saying to myself, yeah, no way this show is going to go off. I did not see that coming. And Gretchen told him, I'm not coming over there because the last time I was over there, only thing he was worried about was Candace Young. And I'm not hurt and I can't do whatever it is that she do. He tell her to come anyway. Charles come in the room and he pretty much tell him that Gretchen, he, he, you know, he try to bring up Gretchen's name. Charles say, no, 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 no. I'm getting a massage. I'm trying to relax. Don't do that. Don't do that. And so... He, he, he tried to call Gretchen to tell her not to come, but she say, too late. I'm on my way. You made me leave my boss. So I'm finna come see, you know, see what I can get from him. So that should be interesting. So anywho, moving on. Uh, this episode, Catherine meets this young lady um, in the jail. Her name is Gina Wise, and she in jail because she was trying to protect her two daughters from their father, who was a who's molesting them and come to find out his name is Patrick McDonald McWallace or something, the same architect who built Catherine's um, hotel. And so Catherine is going to help her out, get her kids back and get him locked up. So, you know, we ain't really, we ain't really going to do too much with that. So anywho, moving on this episode, Justin and Tana, you know, they having a conversation and you know, Tana is just telling Justin, like, boy, I better not find out you lying to me. You better not be gay. I'm going to beat it out of you. I'm going to kill you if you're gay. I'm going to make sure you go back straight. Listen, it ain't that serious, bro. Let your brother do whatever it is to make him happy. He just needs to stop stalking people and putting people in the back of police cars and raping them. That's really the only thing he needs to stop doing. So, they get a knock on the door, and it's Veronica's... Uh, spy or whatever you want to call him he needs to talk to Tanner because he's saying Veronica wants to speak with him. of course Madison trying to talk Justin I mean not Justin not that matter but of course <laughs> Justin is trying to talk Tanner from going and see um, Veronica but but Tanner say no I need to go see her to see what she gonna say because I ain't got time you know time to be playing around with you and this, this whole gay thing so long story short you know Veronica calls him and they set up with me so we're gonna see what come of that situation. Anyways, my, uh, Justin gets so afraid, he blowing up Jeffrey's phone, leaving voicemails and calling rap back. Jeffrey answer the phone, Jeffrey answer the phone, Jeffrey answer the phone. Meanwhile, Jeffrey over to Madison house. Him and Colby over there having a good time. And it seems as though that uh, uh, Madison has some secrets that he just has not uh, let you know, told uh, Jeffrey yet. and Kobe is kind of worried about it. So we gonna slow play that and see what come out of that. Moving on, Mitch and Candace they in the room while Benny in the bathroom getting dressed. Look, ain't no secret. Mitch got feelings for Candace. He he shooting his shot and all of that. Cool, fine. He telling her how pretty she look and he loves her and all this. And I'm thinking Benny gonna hear, but apparently Benny didn't. Benny come out of the bathroom. They ready to go and eat. It's a knock on the door and it's landing. Candace tell Benny and Mitch, um, you know what I'm saying, to go get for a few minutes. Uh, she'll be out. She'll be out shortly. And so Landon just gets straight down to it. Because I don't want to talk about him talking about how attractive, you know, them boys was. But he asked her, is she pregnant? Does Charles know that she pregnant? And I'm just like, wow. How do he know this? So, of course, Candace says she's not pregnant. So, we got to slow play that to see how it is. But listen, I cannot tell y'all enough. 
I am here for Candace being the first lady of the White House. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So, anywho, last but not least, Hannah's at home. She just got the shower, putting on her PJs, getting ready to go to bed. And Jim, good old Jim, is sitting in Hannah's bedroom waiting on her. Now, ain't nothing going to please me more than Hannah. I'm not seeing Hannah. But if she, if she got a gun somewhere in sight, pull it out and shoot his monkey ass. I, listen, I'm just telling you, when nothing... Nothing make me feel better than Hannah shooting Jim right now. But like I said, man, it's a lot going on. The whole Oliver and Gretchen storyline that's coming up pretty much insinuating that they need Gretchen and Charles together so their families can pretty much run the nation. Then we can't forget about Don and John and Jim. We know Don and John trying to steal money from Catherine, but it seems like Don and John is in cahoots with Jim about something, but we just don't know what it is. Listen, y'all, listen. I cannot wait to see what Tyler do with these storylines because we have plenty of them. But until next time, if I left out anything y'all thought was important, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm out of here. Y'all be easy. Be, be, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share all that good stuff. I'm out of here. Peace.